So if you've thought about selling your home, then you probably already know that the 2021 housing market is absolutely crazy. I mean, I have literally seen homes go on the market and go into contract on the same exact day. So we really don't see many signs of things slowing down. So the question is, should you sell now or should you wait? And in today's video, I'm going to give you the two reasons why I believe that you should sell now and get in while the getting is good than to wait. So if you want to know if you should sell now instead of waiting, stick around. Hey guys, so this is our first time meeting. My name is William Pierce and I'm a real estate agent here in the central New Jersey area. And I work with people just like yourself to help them accomplish their real estate dreams. Now, if you're watching this video on Facebook or Instagram, make sure you go ahead and heart this video and leave any of your real estate related questions below. Now, if you're watching this video on YouTube, then make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification so you never ever miss another video and make sure you comment any of your real estate related questions below. So the first reason why I believe that you should sell now instead of waiting is that interest rates are going up. So one of the main reasons why so many people decided that now was the right time for them to purchase a home was because of the extremely low interest rates. I mean, with interest rates being so low, a lot of home buyers realized that now was the right time. They realized that they could save the most money if they purchase now instead of waiting. But what also happened was a lot of homeowners, they realized the ones that wanted to upgrade they realized that now was the right time to upgrade because they would actually most likely be able to continue paying their same low monthly mortgage payments while upgrading to a bigger home because of the low interest rates. But like they say, all good things must eventually come to an end and we're slowly, slowly starting to see interest rates, mortgage rates beginning to climb as the country slowly starts to reopen and the economy gets back to normal. I mean, according to CNBC, in February, when interest rates for 30-year fixed mortgages went from 2.96% to 2.98%, mortgage applications fell by 5.1%. Now that 0.2 percentage points might not seem like a big deal, but just imagine if the interest rate had fell by as much as a half a percent. Just imagine how much the mortgage applications could have fallen. The reality is it's not a matter of if the interest rates are gonna rise because we're already seeing them rise. It's a matter of when will they rise to a point where the majority of people that are in the buying market now will no longer be able to afford to buy a home. And the number two reason why you should sell now instead of waiting if you're thinking about selling is because inventory is going up. In 2020, the housing inventory dropped by almost 40%, which essentially meant that all the buyers were forced to bid over asking price, and in a lot of instances, way above asking price, which put all the bargaining power in the hands of the sellers. But the question is, how long will it stay there? Now, we have no idea of knowing how long this low inventory market will last, but we know with inventory going up, that this market won't last for long and it will eventually shift. And when it shifts, so does the bargaining power. Now, I know some of you are hearing this and you're saying, William, this all makes sense. However, in this low inventory market, although you're saying inventory is going up, doesn't that mean that if I sell now, I'm going to have a hard time myself finding a place to live? And in some instances, that is true. But in other instances, it's not. Let me explain. So if you're looking to upgrade, then you could end up being in the same position as a lot of home buyers are now. And any profits that you make from the sale of your home, you may have to use those profits to bid above asking price again, like a lot of current home buyers are having to do. However, if you're looking to downgrade, the complete opposite could be true. Again, these are just my two opinions, my two reasons on why I believe if you're looking to sell, you should definitely consider selling now instead of waiting. So do you agree or do you disagree? Let me know down below in the comments. And also, if you've got anything to add to the discussion, also leave those down below in the comments so other people that watch this video could also benefit. And if you're looking to buy, sell, or rent and you live anywhere in New Jersey, then we should definitely chat. Call me, text me, email me, and let's talk about helping you accomplish your real estate dreams.